Hey guys, Dave from Wolfheart Hobbying here, and today we're going to take another look at painting Space Wolf armor. Uh, again, uh, this is going to be in my kind of dark blue um, color scheme, uh, but in this one we're going to be uh, doing our highlights in layers uh, instead of dry brushing uh, like in the previous uh, video. So again, it's been uh, primed in gray, given a base coat of ashen blue, and uh, Drakenhof Nightshade Wash. So for our first color, we're going to just reestablish our uh, base armor color again. So we're just going to come in uh, with some straight uh, ashen blue. Uh, you could darken this and work your way up uh, with multiple layers if you wanted to, but um, again, this is just uh, our standard marine, so I'm not spending a lot of time on him, and he's not going to be a showpiece either. So, so here I'm just selecting the uh, highest points on uh, most of the armor, leaving that uh, wash in the crevices. So really like you're just repainting your base coat on um, so here I'm just getting the top of the boot I've gotten um, that one knee pad but you want to just leave that darkened ashen blue in the crevices um, you'll want to work with your paints uh, in a thin consistency uh, thin it down with uh, some medium uh, just so you have better control over it as well as it'll give you a better transition when you can do multiple thin layers than doing thick layers. So as you can see here just being very careful to um, essentially outline where the armor plate is going and leaving again that wash in those deep crevices. Now this is going to take a fairly uh, long time to do. Uh, it is a lengthy process to be layering your highlights. That's why I suggest maybe doing it on uh, a Lord or an HQ choice instead of your standard Marine. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to go over the entire model and highlight it up. So here I've reestablished the base color uh, as you can see on the back. It really kind of pops a lot more, which is really nice for your HQs and things. Um, I did a couple layers uh, on the model. You can see the, the definition in his helmet's a lot nicer, uh, but you don't want to spend, like uh, this one took me a couple, uh, about half an hour to do. So here I'm coming in with a five to one mixture of ashen blue to one uh, reaper white. Um, and this is going to be my first highlight. Um, again, you could work with darker colors and then bring it up to maybe the ashen blue as your final highlight. But I want to get uh, layering up to close to that ethereum blue from the last video. So here I'm just hitting the top of the vents and uh, kind of doing a broad edge highlight. Um, not going too thin with this color as I want it to show that this is where a lot of the light is hitting. So I'm getting just about the toes of uh, that boot. Um, again, the top of those vents on the backpack, uh, his hands, uh, things like that. With this highlight, you can go as far as you want with it or as little as you want. Um, it doesn't really make a huge difference. Uh, again, I'm working with thin colors so that I can get a nice transition. Um, and again, I'm of now kind of uh, what I was doing with the uh, darkened blue in the crevices, I'm kind of doing here with uh, this mixture as well is I'm leaving some of that ash and blue to stand out uh, to give us, again, another trans transition. So just kind of hitting the edges of this glove. Again, I'm not really going with a specific light source. I'm just kind of looking around and highlighting wherever I want. Um, so it's up to you on where your highlights are going to be, dependent on how you uh, view the light source hitting the model. 
So you want to be very careful with this one as you don't want to get this mixture into the crevices as it will um, ruin the, the wash effect. Um, but you don't want to uh, be too thin with this as you are going to be doing, well at least I'm going to be doing some more highlights so I'm not going that thin with my brush strokes. So again, choosing where I want the highlights to come. I'm just hitting the top of the crest on his helmet there. I'm going to be uh, doing the upper, the forehead and back on the helmet as well as those uh, side vents. So, and this part too, you want to make sure that you don't get it into where the eyes or the lenses are on the helmet. Uh, just to again not ruin that um, high uh, that that wash shade um, again if you're doing a zenithal style you'll want to just uh, as I was showing with my paintbrush you'll just want to uh, highlight the very very top parts of the armor and working down on where those lights would hit but again this is a very lengthy process um, being very selective of where we uh, use this highlight and uh, what parts so as you can see here I'm kind of hitting just the back parts of this leg kind of outlining that plate just to give it a little bit more pop on the on the tabletop and with this highlight you also don't need to be uh, highlighting the whole armor piece you'll just want to pick out uh, bits and pieces because if you do the whole armor piece, it's going to kind of give it a uh, like a comic book glow feel, um, with which is if you want to kind of go with that idea, you could too. It looks really good. I do that with my Eldar, um, but that's pretty much that highlight. Uh, again, it's not going to be a very um, big highlight. We're not doing a lot of the armor plates or anything like that. But again, take this as far as you want. Um, you could, this could be your final highlight if you work darker up. Um, but I want to get to that uh, Ethereum blue uh, dry color as close as I can, um, just so that this guy fits in with the rest of my models. He is a, a, a Wolf Guard uh, pack leader, um, I believe they're called. I don't have a red on me but uh, essentially like I want him to kind of stand out more than the other standard Marines so that's why I'm not doing the dry brushing on him here so to get our ethereum blue type color I'm adding one more drop of white um, so it kind of makes it a not really it's, it's a hard mixture it's five drops of uh, ash and blue to the two drops of white and this is going to be my final highlight and this one I'm going to come in with my uh, small detail brush and we're going to be very very selective of this highlight um, so I'm just going to get just a little bit of that boot edge there and uh, the top of the knee pad kind of going over where I highlighted with the f uh, just the five to one mixture uh, and really selecting where I want this highlight to be. Again, uh, depending on your light source is where is going to be very dependent on where you put this highlight. So um, I'm going, I, I think I'm going to just skip the hands um, except for the one that's holding the chainsword uh, because the light would be kind of covered by the uh, storm bolter that he has here. Um, and again, not going too far with this highlight. I'm not going to go on any of the ar big armor plates as uh, a lot of light would not really get in there. Uh, just with all the wolf tails and uh, other things like that. So uh, on his uh, helmet here, I'm just doing a thin, thin line on the crest of the helmet. I'm not going on to the helmet except for uh, right by the mouth grill or whatever it happens to be on the front of the helmet. 
So just going to do the upper part of that uh, grill. So this one's like edge highlight. I'm using just the edge of the brush just to catch that uh, raised edge. And as you can see, it's giving us quite a cool looking effect so far. Um, again, pick your light sources and you don't want to go too far with this highlight or else he, he could start looking a little shiny. Um, and that's not what I want to go for at all. I want my guys to look dark, rough, dirty, and grim and everything. So just going to hit the top of that uh, vent on his uh, backpack and pretty much that's about it. Um, again, if you want to take this farther and go straight up to a white, you could, uh, but it just wouldn't really work for my color scheme. So just hitting some parts where I feel the highlight is needed. And uh, if you feel like you've gone a little too far, like all this is a little too bright, what you could do as well, um, if you want to kind of try and blend them all together, is uh, thin out Drakenhof Nightshade and um, with medium, and uh, then give the entire model a wash, uh, just to kind of mute down some of those highlights. Um, but with my Ethereum Blue being my final highlight on my other guys, uh, this isn't uh, too bad. So here I've decided to come in and get the armor plates. Uh, just a quick little dab here and there. Not too much as again I don't want his armor to look like he's glowing. I just want it to look like it's highlighted. So that's it guys. Uh, just wanted to show you uh, side by side again it's hard to see some of these uh, highlights and details when it's just all blue so I'm just going to show you the guy from the last video uh, he's pretty much painted up um, got some more detail work to do on him obviously but that's pretty much what he will look like on the tabletop so uh, let me know what you guys think which one you like better do you like the layered look or the dry brush effect um, I will be posting a picture on my Facebook page of them both painted up uh, to completion. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the like button. Uh, leave your comments uh, in the comment section below on, again, which one you, you think is better uh, effect um, or any comments you'd like to leave. Uh, there will be a link to my Facebook uh, page in the video description below, so uh, go over there, uh, check it out, uh, shoot me a message if you want. There will also be a link to my Patreon account if you guys want to show some support that way. Uh, but again guys, thanks for watching the video, thanks for all your support, and uh, have yourselves a great day.